Hey guys, welcome back to Being a Jana Claire, where we celebrate all things that I, a Jana Claire love, including my love for shopping. Hey guys, I am back with yet another box lunch haul. I know you guys probably saw my last box lunch haul. I was like, girl. You just go back to box lunch no it's actually been months in between shopping trips <laughs> like that last haul i showed you was like all the stuff i got from February. this is all the stuff that i got most recently during like the september um box lunch money time that is really the time when i shop at box lunch it's because i know lunch money is coming up and unless it's something that i really think is just going to sell out it's just best to wait until i get lunch money but I am going to go through this latest haul. This is a fun one because this is where I start to collect, you know, it's October now. We went shopping in September. This is where I start to collect like Christmas presents. So, so and, and holiday ornaments and all of the things. So a lot of this stuff isn't for me. A lot of this stuff is going to be presents for my family. So let's just jump right into it. Yeah, this is about the time when, when I shop for the kids, anytime after like September, anything I buy for the kids, it's for Christmas. Like, you know, before then throughout the year when I shop, I give them the things as I buy them. But now it's like, uh-uh, like, this is all going under the tree. So you have to wait, people. <laughs> so let's just jump right into this lunch money haul so you can see the kind of things that you can get at box lunch right now and check out the Halloween background let me step away so you can get a full look at it so I have the villains up top I have ghost Mickey and Minnie you have Donald uh, the vampire Mickey is Dracula and then you have just kind of like your Disney parks guys my pumpkin mickey popcorn bucket and then i have my nbc shelf and then if you go down those are just some extra bags <laughs> that fill the wall so yeah let's start with let's go start with books okay because these are books for little ones if you have little ones you have grandkids you have kids you have small ones or if you're an adult who likes to collect children's books ring ring <laughs> Um, here are some of the things we have. So we have, and this one is like in plastic and it's wrapped and it's an Encanto book, but it is in Spanish and Zoya is taking Spanish this year. So I thought this would be like a great book for us to read together because she loves Encanto and she's learning Spanish. And then I got her this one. This is brave. And the thing that I like about these books, I don't know, can you get them cheaper than $6? Cause this book was $6, but remember with lunch money, half off pretty much everything that i got is half off when you get it with lunch money so that made this book three dollars which i think is a fantastic price and then we have this a tale of three sisters this is a chapter book so it's probably a little bit more advanced as well but you know we're trying to start reading um to read we are starting to read chapter books together um and a lot of times we're not <laughs> sitting down and reading them because she, it just won't hold her attention. So sometimes like while she's playing, I will read the book aloud instead of like having the TV on. And this way I get my read on, she gets to hear, and then every now and then she gets a little interested, she comes sits on the couch next to me, and then she goes back to play. Um, I, I, I really want to get her interested in the Harry Potter series. Like she's starting to get interested in Harry Potter because she's seen some of the movies and I talk about it so much. But I really want to read the books together. I've read them um, from cover to cover myself and I'm super excited to read them with her. And then we have this little Groot book. And this is a summer adventure for Groot. And I just love the little artwork with Groot and Rocket. And this one was $12.99, so it's a hardback book, really cute illustrations. Um, I would say it's six dollars with or $12.99, so $13, six and a half dollars. <laughs> and then of course another Encanto book. And this is Antonio's amazing gift. And again, you know, she's still only six. So, you know, chapter books are great, but she loves books with pictures and words and things that she can try to read by herself. And she loves Encanto. This one was $16.99. So it's one a little bit more expensive, but again, half off. 
and then of course I had to get like mother like daughter she is a fan of turning red I am still processing my feelings about that movie but my daughter is May May and May May's the least she's 13 mine is five and a half Okay, so <laughs> I'm like so dramatic and I wonder where Zoel gets it from, right? So I haven't read any of these yet. I have no idea what they're about. We do judge books by the cover <laughs> in this house, so I will buy books by the cover. But when I was looking through it, the words were like really big and there weren't too many words, lots of great pictures. So again, this is something she's learning to read now. So this is something I thought that she could read to me. Um, I do like to have her read books to me versus just on her own because then she feels like she's teaching me something and then she's in charge and I'm like whatever works whatever gets you to read have at it so we have here so these are all of the t-shirts you can get from box lunch she's a big fan of Spidey so this is for her um this is super cute this ursula t-shirt this is actually my mom's this is going to be for my mom for christmas because she loves ursula and then of course they had the cake worthy shirts i actually already have this t-shirt but my mom definitely like got her this one and i love how the princesses are and then you really can't get a bad placement on these cake worthy shirts like i mean everything is just so big it's just bright and vibrant and then I got myself my Jar Jar Binks shirt. Jar Jar is so funny looking, but I do have the Jar Jar Binks lounge fly. And so I thought it would be fun to have a Jar Jar Binks shirt to go with the lounge fly. And that was the one that they had that had like the closest colors. And then this one is not going to be for Christmas. Maybe I was going to get this now. It is the Hocus Pocus. Does it say tonight we fly? Broom Squad sweatshirt, Broomho. We fly. <laughs> so the sisters are going to fly. We're actually going to be the Sanderson sisters for our annual witch walk. If you don't know what that is, I will link a video for you up here. I can't remember which side the videos go on. So somewhere up here, there's gonna be a link to the video from our last witch walk and we are doing it again this year and it is such a fun event for our neighborhood. So I got myself this cocoa sweatshirt. I have one cocoa bag. This sweatshirt will perfectly match it and it's nice and it's cozy for the winter. So yay. Keeping up with sweatshirts, my son will be super excited. This, I know I said I get the things for Christmas, but it's getting chilly and he needs a new hoodie and he is a Ravenclaw so I got him look at the hood this awesome Harry Potter Ravenclaw hoodie it has like two-tone arms it's so cool and super super warm so he's going to love that this sweater I feel like I showed you guys this in another video but this is like the baby Yoda sweater but I found another one on sale so I got one for my mom for Christmas because she didn't get um, one the last time we had them. And then I got for myself for like it gets I'm in Charleston. So it gets a little chilly in the wintertime. Some days it can be cold, but I haven't found that it's been cold enough for like a coat coat like when I was in New York. So I I'm like actually getting more kind of like sweatshirts and hoodies. I do prefer like the zip up sweatshirts, but I couldn't pass up this villain's sweatshirt and it has like um what does it say on the side it says bad bad vibes on the side on the sleeve and it says the same thing on both sleeves so i thought that was like a super super cool hoodie so i'm super excited about that and then i got some shorts for so well these are all like super big because finding things in her size and box lunch is like and okay, they have like amazing things for adults and for like toddlers and infants, but that kind of middle age group is gonna like come on, box lunch. They have some of the cutest things in toddler sizes, and I can't get them for my child. But here's like a little cute little um up themed long sleeve t shirt, and then she's still obsessed with Peppa Pig, so we got this Peppa Pig shirt. And of course, did someone say flowers? Yes. <laughs> Her Isabella. 
Isabella, your boyfriend's here. And then, of course, we don't talk about Bruno. No, no, no. Look at the rats. <laughs> we don't talk about Bruno. But. <laughs> And then I got myself, this is an interesting shirt. Um, I'm not sure how much I love it. And now that I'm looking at the Muses bags that I have, because I only have like the brown versions of the Muses bags, I don't know how much this is really going to go with them. But it is like one of those like little mini crop top shirts. And it's so cute though. It has all of the Muses on it. But I don't know. I thought it'd be cute because I have like a couple of like white tank dresses that will be cute to like layer over my tank dresses so then I can wear them in the winter and not just in the summer and I think that is all of the clothes we are moving through this haul people okay so random item number one I needed a new laptop case and they have the girl glue laptop case which is so cute look at the back of the zipper pull and this is just like a little storage compartment so you can put like little things here but of course once you put your laptop in here depending on the size of it I don't know how much more you can actually put back there so don't get too excited yeah so it's just a neoprene sleeve because I have like um my friend Maylin from uh, Miss Sassy Pants got me the amazing Moana Dooney bag and I find that the Dooney totes very sturdy very strong and it is capable of holding my laptop so I just wanted like a little sleeve that doesn't add a lot of dimension to my laptop just to kind of protect it when it's in my Dooney bag all right so do you want to do Funkos let's do Funkos okay so guys, remember in the last haul, I showed you like Celia and Boo, and I found Sully, and then I found Mike. <laughs> so now I have all of them. These are the ones in this set. I have all of them except the Yeti. So if anybody sees the Yeti and it's not like $10 billion, please let me know. Okay, I got Zoelle. She was like, Tinkerbell, Tinkerbell. And she's seen this pop. We didn't get it when we spent lunch money. I did go back because I had to go back and return something. Um, and then we saw this and the clearance was like half off of all the clearance items. So we finally got this Tinkerbell pop. Zoelle actually plays with her Funko Pops, like they're toys. So I don't get her Funko Pops that are like, I don't know, like collector's items. But I, I don't collect Tinkerbell and she wanted to play with it. So it was like on sale, like nine bucks. So take it. Okay. They came out recently, or I don't know how recently, because you guys know I'm always like behind on stuff lately. <laughs> but they have this villains series of these Funkos, and I managed to get Lady Tremaine. So our box lunch had Lady Tremaine, and I got Maleficent. Look at the owl, so cool! And so I did not get from box lunch the rest of them because these were the only two that my box lunch had, at least when I went in. I really didn't get a lot of stuff from Hot Topic because the box lunch and Hot Topic money overlap sometimes. Um, a couple of days, they're not the exact same schedule, but they do tend to overlap. And so I did have a couple of dollars for um, Hot Topic cash that I snagged from some of my friends. Like if you need box lunch money and hot cash, make sure you're asking your friends because sometimes like they don't use all of theirs. And People in this community we love to share so um i know when i do have like extra codes i will post them so you know during box lunch money time i usually do it towards the end of lunch money sorry a little selfish i know but it's like i have to make sure i'm not using them first <laughs> and then if i'm not using them i will post them oh so you know if it's box lunch money time always just check in with me and see because if i have extras i'm always happy to share um and then i just grabbed these from hot topic you know they released these star wars snowman i'm not really sure how i feel about them they're very pretty in terms of like being sparkly and glittery but they're still weird looking like melted i'm like are they supposed to be snowmen or marshmallows i thought snowmen they kind of look like melted snowmen but then when i look at them i see like the little chocolate and stuff so I'm like is that chocolate so are they like marshmallows and then that's why they're funny shaped I don't know but these are actually quite heavy this is R2D2 my, one of my favorite beep boops um you know B, they don't have BB-8 in this collection but it's R2D2, C-3PO, Boba Fett, a stormtrooper and Vader 
I don't know if I really need the whole set, but I got R2-D2. I would like to have C-3PO because him and R2-D2 are like a pair for me. Um, and I would like to have Vader and I would like to have both of so I guess I want the whole set. And <laughs> if I only get R2-D2, because I've seen them selling online. I don't know, are they starting to be hard to find? I Let me know in the comments below if you find that they're hard to find, but I've seen them selling online for like double the price already. And I'm like, nope, not doing it. Not when I pay, like when I get my pops from Hot Topic, they're like $12.90 and with Hot Cash, they're like half off. So yeah, and then my um, Hot Topic, most, all of their pops all of the time, most of their whole stores, like buy one, get one 30% off of like on a regular day when there is no coupon going on. So still, it still makes it cheaper than the list price. So I'm not paying double that. And then they have this Guardians of the Galaxy holiday set. Now I do love these holiday pops. So I definitely want Groot. I don't have any Mantis pops. So I want Mantis and Drax. And this is Star-Lord. So I wonder if they're going to come out with like another series with some of the other characters for this set. I don't know. But love these. So yeah, those were the things I got from Hot Topic. Oh! my final pop that I got and it's part of the villain series but you don't see him on there because this was the D23 Expo exclusive for Box Lunch and of course I got this at my local store I didn't get it with my D23 merch so I do have a D23 haul it's going to be over in Zoelle's World so make sure you go check that out if you want to see what I got from D23 I got some cool stuff but I didn't go crazy because I had to fly so <laughs> I'll tell you it's not like the craziest um haul that you have seen from me okay so along the lines of like little random things that I got I think I was like ten dollars away from being able to use another box lunch coupon which meant if I spent ten more dollars I would have gotten an additional fifteen dollars off which when you net out the ten I had to spend to use it and then an extra five dollars off my purchase just for actually getting more things that's how box lunch money works always make sure you're calculating the subtotal and you're keeping in mind if you're at that register and you're within fifteen dollars of being able to use another coupon do it it is like you're you're going to end up spending the same amount of money once you add in the other coupon and you got more things so they had these um uh what are these lightsaber pens <laughs> and so i got the red one and the blue one light side and dark side so these will be so much fun on my desk downstairs for work and then I really do feel like I showed you guys these two things in another video, but I found them in with like my box lunch stuff. So in case I did it, these are Star Wars affirmation cards, which is so cool. And then this is an actual makeup palette. I thought this is so cute, but the colors are super, super pretty. I really do like the eyeshadow palettes. Um, I have a brave eyeshadow palette. And it's gorgeous the colors are beautiful and I find that some of the colors within the palette like if you're a makeup person you're probably like girl I don't use that cheap makeup look I use cheap makeup um because these things like half off they're 22 bucks this one was 22 but they're typically around 16 and you can get them half off and they sell them both at um box lunch and hot topic and I will say sometimes the colors are like very um I don't know what the technical term for it is but they're not very rich and so you put the colors on your eyes and it's like you really don't see them and then sometimes like you put them on and they're bright and they're vibrant and and you can have that mixture all within the same palette like I can use this and like these colors that look super bright will come out looking very muted and dull and then these colors will look like very very vibrant so um if you but they tend to kind of the palettes the colors tend to be on theme with whatever the character is like i have tiana i have little mermaid i have tinkerbell i have grogu and i have um merida and i just love all of the colors i have the muses so that is a very pretty palette maybe one day i'll do a video and just show you guys like those palettes so i didn't go crazy on bags so let's just go ahead and get the bags out of the way i got <laughs> Look what it says i love you i know it is on and leia and this was a 2022 galactic convention exclusive but it was at box lunch 
and on the back it just has like the resistance symbol and then the inside it just has like the millennium falcon and some tie fighters and x-wings so yeah and that's bag is so cute it is small it is it is a mini mini backpack like this is smaller than most of my other lounge fly bags but <laughs> it's two of my favorite characters so you know i was gonna get it i love you i know is like my whole favorite thing um and then i got this for zoelle because she picked this out for herself but she's gonna forget that she picked it out because that's what she does and so this will go under the tree for her for christmas and it is the coco ofrenda and then you have um miguel and mama coco in the back and then is there a lining here there is a lining. oh it's so pretty and it's like a bunch of sugar skulls on the inside lining and then there is a strap so it's like a little you can carry it like a little bag or it has a strap so you get a crossbody she's been carrying pocketbooks more lately so wow. okay the last two bags i got in this haul these are actually not lounge fly bags so here's the first one this is a disney our universe bag but it is a tiana bag and we know that i collect me some tiana i want every single one i don't have a tiana beignet bag how stinking cute is that i mean i'm not always a big fan of the shibi artwork but this is going to be a part of like my food bag collection um our universe does have um, inside it has Tiana's and it has like little sprinkles and stars and there is no zipper oh wait there is a zipper pocket in the back this bag is huge like this bag look how wide it is like it holds a lot of stuff there is a zipper pocket in the back but there's also a front pouch in the front and it's pretty deep um, I don't know if it's big enough to hold like your whole cell phone in terms of like all the way down, but it's definitely enough to hold your cell phone halfway there. Um, okay, and then we have this bag. This is another Our Universe bag. Look at this one. It is Lewis and the band. Is this not V? That's not Vina Tiana right here. And you have this beautiful artwork here and look at this it's like a little metal clip thing and then you have the front pocket and that's like a pretty big look how thick that foam is that's a pretty big front pocket and this bag is huge look at how wide it is it holds all of the things okay and when i tell you like this bag feels sturdy like it feels very sturdy and here is the inside again we have a zipper pocket in the back and we have that front pouch there and i mean just look how big the inside is like that holds a lot of stuff and this bag is like heavy like it feels solid so i feel very very good about this bag it does have side pockets here on both sides um the other bags did have side pockets as well um yeah is ray anywhere on here i don't see him but this is just this is a gorgeous gorgeous bag so our universe <laughs> lounge fly our universe is coming for you <laughs> they are coming for you okay let's finish this out really really quickly with some home decor items this first item is these vader and stormtrooper shot glasses they're just like little shot glasses, but they're so cool and they're really big. So there you have it. Vader and the Stormtrooper shot glasses of the child. This is a salt and pepper shaker. <laughs> I actually took that out the box so that you could see because I was very curious to like a salt and pepper shaker. What? How does that work? So one is salt and one is pepper. And how cute is this and then it has a magnet on the bottom and then he I, I mean don't turn it upside down because it will fall like it's not like the most sturdy magnet but if it's like here it keeps it kind of on 
So, and that's the child in the pram and that's the salt and pepper shaker set. So this is not going to ever have salt and pepper on it. It's, I mean, in it, it's going to be on a shelf somewhere in my house. I can't believe I almost left out my R2 D2 toaster. Oh my gosh, this thing is so freaking cool. Look at it. Okay. <laughs> is this super lightweight? Like you can literally just pick up one hand. It's a super lightweight toaster, but it toasts very well. So this is like the best part. Yes, I'm heating up Pop-Tarts because I'm a five-year-old child when it comes to food. So this is where you have your settings. So I like my Pop-Tarts about right there. This is the cancel button. And this is the width adjuster to make like bagels. And then. So that's what he does every time you put something in. So while that is um, toasting, let me show you my Death Star cheese board. And these were both from Box Lunch. And in the store, I think online, they may be excluded from lunch money, but in the store, you do get to use lunch money. And they had these in my store. How freaking cool. So this is like a cutting board for cheese. And then there's a compartment inside, inside, but you just swivel it. It's still hard to do with one hand, but you swivel it and it has all of these little hidden, I haven't used it yet, so all of the stuff is still in there. You have like a little cheese knife, whatever you use this thing for. You slice the cheese. And these are like pretty heavy and sturdy um, knives. And look, they're all engraved. You have the Stormtrooper and the handles are all engraved. Like how freaking cool is this set? Like this is a gorgeous set. So that's the setting that lets you know your toast is about to pop up. Last thing. We have a couple of we have a couple of ornaments and then we have pins and then we are done because this video is getting long. So our um, box lunch had a whole wall full of Hallmark ornaments. They were $8.90 with lunch money, half off. And so I got Shuri from Black Panther. Of course, for Zoelle, I got Mirabelle from Encanto. And of course, there's no way in the world I was leaving that store without her. <laughs> so, so these, we're, we are adding to our ornaments, so make sure you stay tuned. We're not doing Vlogmas this year, but we are going to do kind of like our standard, what I got my kid for Christmas. Um, actually doing, finally doing, I'm pulling out all of the toys from the last two years of what I got my kids for Christmas. And we are going to do a toy review. And I'm going to try to get that up um, before November. So if you see anything that you might be interested in, you can still get it because a lot of the toys that we got for the last couple of years are still available. So yeah, last thing are the pins. And we are going to run through these super super you know what we're not gonna do the pins the video is like way too long so i have a books million haul coming up because in our mall there's box lunch and we always go through books a million to get to box lunch and they always have like cute dizzy stuff so finally got some stuff from them so i'm gonna do a books a million haul i will do these pins in that haul because there's a lot fewer things there and i'm gonna end this video now thank you guys for watching if you enjoyed this video please give it a big thumbs up make sure you subscribe to the channel if you love seeing all of the things so that you can decide if you want to get some of these things and remember this is not so else world this is being a genre <laughs> Go grab a cocktail and have a great day. Cheers!